Hey, what is good my friends? Trad here back with some more No Rest for the Wicked. And in this video, I just wanted to cover something that I think a lot of people might be doing wrong in this game. Um, so it can be really easy when you come across a potion, whether it's small or large, I'm sorry, an XP potion. Um, it can be easy to just consume it right away to just gain more levels on your on your main character but as long as you're past you know even level 11 you are completely wasting the potion um, these xp potions i think you should be stacking and then once you have about six six large potions that you get just from killing bosses and you know drops from enemies and runs through the serum crucible and chests once you have about seven of them you can make a new character and try a different build and you don't have to grind from that one through 11. You literally just spawn into your same universe, you run through the game as I just showed you, you go back to your house, you pop six or seven large potions, and boom, you're a level 11 or 12 or 13. And this allows you to use the tier two gear right away so you don't have to grind through you know, the level one through 10 where you're very weak, dying to everything. Right away you're level 11 and you'll have enough attribute points to be able to buy or to be able to use any weapon because you can scale any of your attributes, even the 42 weapons that you've picked up along the way, you know, the legendaries, rarest, whatever it may be. Uh, your character will now be you know, 13 attributes in. You can see you have enough points to, to be able to use any weapon. In this case, I wanted to try a faith build I didn't want to grind a character up, so I just did my method. You'll be able to find, you know, six large potions um, pretty fast. You know, just play the game as you would. Just make sure you save those potions. You definitely don't want to use them on a character that you're cruising through the crucible with as is. You're going to get your XP just naturally with them. So save those XP potions for, for new characters and blast your character from a 1 to a 13 right away. And this does seem like the type of game where you're supposed to have multiple characters, multiple builds. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if they never, you know, released a potion that you can drink to reset your stats. A lot of people have been asking for that. Um, I think this game is meant to have multiple builds and having a house that you can share everything. It makes it really easy to, to go from level 1 to 10 minutes, you know, 15 minutes later running through the crucible as you see above. Um, I had to make a few adjustments to my faith build, but I found a very strong build. If I didn't have the seven large potions right off the rip, I probably never would have tried this character. So definitely worth saving those. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Peace. Half day stories, they be made up. I can't believe in cap tragedies.